Hello everyone. So this video I will show you how you can install Glassfish application server. So yeah, let's get connected. SSH root and add no space between root and the IP address. And there we go. You have to provide your password to log in because this uh, like all the comments here on the left side you can see this work well successfully on my local machine so it should work at the cloud server as well so let's do it right CD download okay I'm doing some mistake here so let's go inside the folder first and so now it is downloading the f like zip package so if you don't like use to you like if you don't use opt here like if you just do it like that that will unzip that package on that download folder which I don't want but then I have to copy the, those things again to opt folder but I can do it easily in one command so that's why I'll use this one unzip is currently not installed okay so you can install it it says you can install it easily using apt install unzip so let's do it sudo apt get install unzip so the unzip this package not sorry not package this application has been installed so let's do that unzip command again there we go now you have unzipped your glass face application server and I'm going to to run this server you have to go to this opt directory so I'm gonna go to opt directly from here you know what this is you cannot see much because of the blue color here so that's why I'm going to run these things on the Bitwise SSH client. So I'm going to exit from here. So let's run Bitwise. There is another good thing about Bitwise here. You can see you can see all the like remote folder and files in the right side this is the left side is your local machine the right side is your cloud machine so you see so i downloaded glassfish on that download folder so there we go so let's go to opd from here so you see there is glassfish that has been unzipped there so let's go inside glassfish ls we list everything i need to go to the bin directory to run some command so here you can see s admin s admin dot bat pkg package for pkg some other uh, files so you need this one a lot to run and like restart or run the server so let's do those command now so I'm gonna sudo this command to run the server So here you can see the admin port is 4848. So you know the Glassfish has an admin console. 
so if you want to go to the admin console or admin page you need to use your IP address colon 4848 so start domain execute successfully that's good it's a little bit slow but I don't know I have uh, as long I don't know if I run some big application then I will actually will know how slow the server is but for now we'll stick with that 512 megabyte RAM plan so here is an error that's the configuration error coming because it's saying that you have to ex uh, secure admin first copy I mean I have did this this comment because it was taking me a long time to like figure it out how to solve this issue so I have done it so you will use don't forget to use that dot forward slash it will not run your s admin command if you don't do that so here is a, your username is admin you cannot put something like Hassan that's my name anyways or something like frost that will not gonna take your like password I mean admin and password so you have to use admin you are the admin the password we have not uh, configured the admin password yet so we should not type anything it has to be blank so now you can you use your new admin password you see then now it has changed successfully which is a good sign I'm just showing you this thing because you might come across this kind of situation if you just uh, like avoid whatever you need to do so that you can come back to the video again So you can see command enable secure admin successfully and I have to restart the server again. By the way this one the as admin restart domain is restarting your application server which is the glassfish server not the you know the Ubuntu server. There you go it works successfully now I should be able to log in you see it is slow but I think the first time it makes a little bit slower because I have seen the same effect in my local machine but after that it was fast but here it was you see the site can be reached I don't know why there you go for the admin console you can see that you have successfully logged into your admin console and you can see the applications and stuff you can deploy your application from the application menu you just have to upload the war file anyways so what I'm gonna do I will deploy a war file for now because I don't want to go back to admin console again and that will take long time I've done one thing here temperature something temperature there we go open okay If the server or listener is not running the link may not work that means some reason the server is not working and I have seen that problem before it's not for the digital ocean problem for sure I know that this one happened on my local machine too so let's restart the machine again I mean the restart the application server that might fix the issue 
but I'm really sorry about for taking this video long but you see that restarting is taking longer time so I, I can help for that there we go so now you can see this is a JSP page that I just used long ago and this is working I can show you just use 15 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit I guess yeah so it's working so thank you for sticking with me for a long time and hopefully this video is helpful for you to configure your GlassFish application but before you go make sure you like press the link for referral link so that I can get some reference credit on my account on my digital ocean account and thank you for watching have a nice day